Okay, Shante, I know my bat run in the battle tower was abysmal, but why do you gonna keep crawling into the wall? That doesn't make any sense. Seriously, get up, you got a job to do. <laughs> why am I so random? I don't know, don't care. Hey, anyway, Klaus here, welcome back for more Shante Risky's Revenge. Last time we had a bad run of the battle tower, like I said before. And we got a task to get coffee? I don't know. Anyway, this episode, we're gonna be doing just that, but not without coming back here to the Baron Desert to SMASH THIS ONE GUY TO PIECES! <laughs> no. <laughs> we actually need an artifact plus from here. Okay. OH MY GOD, WE GOT SOME WOOD! No, okay, you got a tree stuck here. Okay. Now, I went back to Scott's house and got the Mega Pike Pole. Now, normally we get the flamethrower here, but... I... Actually, come to um, actually appreciate the um, pike ball a bit more. It, it, it is a pretty good strategy, and I'll be sure to go over that then. But anyway, enough of all that. Got the monkey bullet. I gotta do is just jump to the, to the wire here, look away from it, and hit the white button. Boom! <laughs> we are faster than a speeding monkey bullet. <laughs> we still can't fight as a monkey, unfortunately, but oh well. It's not all that big a deal. Okay, right over here with these destructible blocks. Okay, there's nothing really special here, but I figured it shows anyway. There is a little area here where you can potentially get money or recoveries like that. It's nothing. It's nothing special, but I just wanted to show it was there. Okay, here we are, the battle tower. Recipe for this um, strategy: Mega Pike Pole and some Magic Veils. Also, my time is inconsistent due to the fact that I had a um, one terabyte flash drive I got from Amazon. And I was stupid enough to try to transfer some from stuff, uh, stuff from um, USB to USB. This was the first game I tried to do that with. And losing my data, I had to play up to this point in magic mode. Yeah, let's do it. Again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People die here, see first, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Main reason this is a, this could be a really good strategy because you can pretty much just walk, walk right on by them and you can just take them down because you have these rotating mazes. What's also really good is that you can keep just matching away these plots just by walking by them. Yeah, it was a really good tactic. I know I, d I, know I said that um, the um, flamethrower can make pretty much anything just just tear crap up, uh, spit in their eye and make them run their pants, but this is also a really good tactic for getting through here as quickly as you can. Yeah, baby. But. You do want to keep a close eye on your magic meter as the Mega Pike Ball does consume a lot of magic. <laughs> wow, a drag magic fail! <laughs> 3 or 4! That's actually. Wow! Love how. No magic veil. I didn't bother using that. Yeah, that, that was such a waste. Okay, beautiful, tasty, amazing magic jam. At the end of it all. Also, we got a magic seal, guys. This totally means you have to right? No, we already had got this one. Uh, yeah, sorry for every good job, but we're not gonna be coming back anytime soon. We already got the magic jam. Yeah. But anyway. Now that we have the, um, elephant dance. Right here. It. Oh, God, I'm not too big a fan of this. 
Uh, yeah, we got a bit of a uh, like talk. We have a bit of a platforming segment that I've already been through like quite a few times in a row due to several failed recordings. Yeah, I'm not happy about playing this game. Uh, I'm not playing this. I'm happy about playing this game. Just not this segment. It again and again. Uh, it is necessary for 100. I don't think what's here is required for game progression. Uh, whatever. You ready? Just come on these chains. Oh, he's... wow! Let the chain of fails begin. Yay! My favorite part of breakfast. Fine, I'll play this normally. Happy game. It's got to jump across these different platforms and then move in different uh, patterns. Yes. Okay, there we go. Okay. Straight platform. Hey, I don't even know why that platform is even there. You can just jump on the lower one and get immediately get to the top one. And I don't know where you are. I change back. Anyway, yeah, you want to go on this last thing here because it's, it's moving so fast that it's possible to go. Because oh, as far as I know, anyway. As I got the this one. And now. We can stomp. Out of rage! Oh, I'm gonna stomp! Damn it, I can't talk. Yeah. <laughs> As it implies, you just slam down and crush anything beneath you. Never really needed, aside from getting maybe one or two magic jams, but that's about it. Not to mention having that as outright need to complete the game 100%. Wow, redundancy! Okay, and with the magic bullet, you... Nuggy bullet, jeez! <laughs> you can access this magic jam that is right here. God, magic bullet. What am I, stupid fucking cell all of a sudden? <laughs> Great fail. Thank you, Vincent, by the way. You're gonna have a smashing time with this. And unfortunately I actually No. I wouldn't I wouldn't advise you the black ball here. Uh I don't know how it happened, but I tried doing that at one point and ended up falling through the platform. Yeah, it was not a good time, but it was pretty funny that it actually happened. If I swear I'd kept the footage and been able to prove it, but eh, whatever we're gonna do. On our way to the Tango Forest, so which is where we need to go next. Remember this alcove that we're gonna do anything with? Well. Dolphin stomp! Okay. Stomp. Fail. You really throw a man cause yourself a headache! <laughs> Let's just get our magic jam and go. Uh, just recovering getting uh, just recently recovering from getting sick, in case you're wondering. Okay, first of the magic jams, takes us here. Can I just turn to monkey and just climb, climb, and these bats are just incredibly stupid and nope. Yeah, I know you need to be in close range on the aggro on you, but still, it seems kind of weird to just sit there and fly. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But, actually, if all you need to get to this magic jam is just use the elephant dash. <laughs> yeah, you can cross a uh, small, you can, you can cross a uh, chasm like that, no problem if you use an elephant. But, alternatively, if you want to get this awesome magic jam, you can wait till you can you can wait till you get the monkey bullet. Whichever way it's fine with you. You do need yeah. If I can talk, it. Yeah, I know I said this over and over, but you do need the magic. Ah, ah there we go again. 
the monkey bullet. Jeez. Also, mega as a mega pokeball. Guarantee protection from tiny little bats on your way down or your money back. <laughs> oh well. Okay, gonna take a little detour over here. Let's show something here. Besides the tops. Hey, look who's back. Huh? Where are your brothers? Abner and Poe? Those two muscleheads never stick around for long. They're waiting for you at the boathouse up the coast. It was still sweet of them to help you out. Yeah, he's getting through some kind of coffee drink. Uh, yeah. They insisted that we make them coffee. Can I really trust those guys? Of course, they're my brothers. That says it all. Yeah, coming for someone who wanted our uh, coming for some from someone who wanted our brains and still does. You know, I used to have a coffee machine, but I lost it that last time I came to this horse. If you find it, it's yours. The coffee beans. Why not try? Why not? Why not? Why not I want to try to cut. Ah! Did the brain cut? Cut? Ah, I can't talk. But man, that. That's got burned. Yeah, sorry if I'm tripping on my words a lot. It's it's pretty late here when I'm when I'm recording this. <clears throat> what? What? was gonna come to where we need to be, but what has happened? I killed this orc and it just popped out of existence leaving nothing not even bones, what the what? okay, how did that even happen? Huh? What? Uh, I am confused. Whatever, let's just smash this gum into pieces and get what we came here for. Now, over here, yeah, we have these um, blue scarecrows that are shoot projectiles. I kind of like to think of these, um, those scarecrows in particular as, um, feminazis. But then again, they can be, and blue is kind of more like a masculine color, and yeah, they despise anything masculine. So, probably wouldn't be those. Anyway, you gotta, you do absolutely need the Spitfire for this, because you need to hit the branches right over there. And with a monkey, without the monkey bullet, this is pretty much impossible. Okay, now this happens to be my least favorite magic jam of all. Oh, hooray, spoilers. But yeah, you need a lot of fire. You, you, uh, you'll need quite a bit of fire, and you need pinpoint accuracy, a pixel perfect accuracy. Especially you're with a monkey bullet right here. And magic jam, I never would have guessed. On my way back, though, I should actually explain that um, when I first played this game, I thought the magic jam was a consumable item that would completely restore your magic. Oh, <laughs> uh, that a kid, uh, that, that kid. Yeah, how naive I was when I played this game. Oh well. Here, let's puff from that um, scarecrow. Or Decently strong, I suppose. But you're right. Ugh, I say that I get hit by one, of course. 
And here we get a broken coffee machine. Hmm. Gee, I wonder who's capable of fixing this. Aw, oh, we meet again, all oh, sad rock. Just sitting here unable to eat the fruit on these trees. Hey, if I'm stuck here for eternity and I can't eat those fruit, I'd probably be depressed too. But that's not important. What's important here is this rock we need to shatter. Yes, on the way to the chef crawl is actually where we need to go. Yeah, go figure. So we have this kind of meh little platforming area. We have, I believe, a couple. Oh, just me to dodge here, but yeah, these enemies can't kill. Just, I don't, know, I just, don't really like this kind of area all that much. Just, yeah. just climb, jump, and we got our awesome coffee beans. Alright. And this is what I like to do often. Spin away tactics! Haha! <laughs> Probably not the best tactic to pull off in um, magic mode per se, but if you're playing standard game and you're trying to complete this game as fast as humanly possible, I guess that's sort of worth it, but at the same time you do have the fact that you have to um, oh, constantly watch your magic meter as it's oh. Using this in um, normal gameplay mode is killer new magic. I say that and that, and that spider just dropped me some magic. <laughs> uh, I could not have had that better if I tried. Our very last stop is this um, boulder in the way that we, um, in the same area where we got that magic jam when we first obtained the ability to transform into a monkey. We have this awesome looking area. This, this green backdrop. Now oh, everything is just kind of shaded out. Let's, let's Awesome! Pretty cool, actually. Oh, it's got a bunch of standard crabs. Nothing too difficult. Nothing we can't handle. Come over here. Nice little heart holder right, in, right here for you. I believe that's actually everything that we can obtain here for now, anyways. So, I will meet you guys back in, um, Skittle Town. Alright, here we are. Now, before I, I get the, um, coffee made, there's actually a couple things I do want to get. It's got six magic jams. Silky cream. And... A few potions. Cause let's be real though. As much as I would like to get the Mega Puff now, potions are more important for me to buy. Let's let's be realistic here. Alright. Now with that. Check out my ripping stick. Okay, it's not anything particular it's not anything particularly special now. But wait until we get the second magic crest. Cream, excuse me. Hey, Shante. You got coffee beans in a coffee machine? What's up with that? Uh, no! That's it? Nothing? That's disappointing. Oh, bother. No, this is no good. The coffee machine is all busted up. Well, it's nothing my wrench can't repair. Come on, boy, let's do a thing. Open wide. Oh my god, it's eating my shoulder! Um, there's supposed to be a right egg in that. You're gonna have to have one like a, an egg like a bra, would you? I really push the boundaries of our friendship here. Next to you, I've got one rotten egg too many. Don't bother with the puppy dog eyes. One saw coffee, extra room for stink. <laughs> you got a latte!
latte. Oh well. It's a coffee drink, nonetheless. You owe me one. No more Zarmi Baresta. Touche. You know the best pals ever. Now I'll take this to the boathouse. Oh yeah, kill her doing that. Uh, I think we did um, a fair amount. Of All right, what do you have to say? I'm changing my name to Emma Baron Jr. My mom protests. <laughs> yeah, that is what the Emma Baron will talk again. But anyway, <laughs> next time on Shantae Risky's Revenge, we'll be taking our zombie coffee to the zombie customer to the zombie boss. Complete our zombie quest. <laughs> See you guys. Yeah,